Remote ID is coming to Europe, and it's coming to Europe a lot quicker than you think. In fact, it's actually coming in two and a half months time from this date, which is the 14th of October, 2023, two and a half months time. So that's the 1st of January, 2024, and all of Remote ID will be compulsory. But there's not been much noise about it. In fact, it's actually been silent. Why is that? Well, we're going to talk about it. Hi everyone, Stephen from The Flyby Guys. It's good to see you again. And I've actually been on holiday this week, and but I've spent most of my time reading up about Remote ID, which has been coming in. Now, I have not made any videos regarding Remote ID because one, I'm not in the States. I don't, I'm not in the US. I don't have my part 107. So therefore I don't feel that I am qualified to be talking about Remote ID because it's not going to affect me. Now, there are many people out there that are talking about Remote ID where they're not even in the country, they don't even fly drones, they don't even, they're not even anywhere near the US, but still they're talking about remote ID and filling your head with, can I say nonsense? Yeah, I can say nonsense. Yeah. So now I know that remote ID is going to affect me. I've studied all the documents, I've spoken with the authorities, and I'm going to give you my take on what I think about remote ID, but I'm going to tell you what's going to happen with remote ID. And it's not as bad as anyone thinks. So first of all, remote ID, there are two versions of remote ID coming in. We have direct remote ID, which is the same as what they have in the US as broadcast remote ID. So it's called direct remote ID, and that will be for your drones such as the uh, Mavic 3 Pro, or, your, um, or it can also be for your Air 3, your Mavic 3, any of those kind of drones as well. Um, because they will be actually, you know, they will have the ability to actually broadcast remote ID. But when we say broadcast, what do we mean by broadcast? Well, broadcast is literally radio and Bluetooth from your phone, or 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 actually not even from your phone. Actually, it's from the controller. Okay, so here we have, uh, 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 a, you know, a DJI RC Pro. Now, now, now you don't have to have internet connection. Okay, so. Um, I can show you here uh, this um, this figure, which gives you uh, all the kind of differences that we have with the um, direct remote ID. So you don't need internet connection. You don't need to have a cloud service. Uh, the data is available locally, and the traffic monitoring for larger areas is pretty limited, which means no one's going to look at it. Okay, so. Why are we getting upset about remote ID? Um, now, there is another version of remote ID which it will also come in, and that's network remote ID. And now network remote ID will be for those that are doing, um, uh, let's say, BB loss flights or drone deliveries or even drone light shows, for example, because you, you might be in a position where you need to use that. Well, and when I say drone light shows, I have actually said that I don't think that drone light shows should be using network remote ID. I think that there should be an exemption for that personally myself, and I've already you know, informed the authorities about this uh, because I don't think it's going to work, and I, I, I see evidence for that actually not working, but I think there will be negotiations going on about that. Um, so um, for, but for the network remote ID, that will be for U-Space. Any of you don't know what U-Space is, U-Space will be the unmanned space that will be going on for you know the cities in Europe. Uh, I don't know if this is going to happen in the US or any other country, but U space will be coming in at some point. I still think it's a long way off, personally myself, uh, but that will give you the ability to have, let's say, certain channels where you can fly and whatnot, and, and it will be shared and, and everything. So that, that so that's for that's for um, the, the network remote ID. We don't have, or we don't need to use the network remote ID, and there's no need for us to use it, and it won't, it won't come into place. So therefore, having the direct remote ID or broadcast if you're in the US, it's just a, a very small signal coming out of your remote, which someone with a phone may be able to see, but I don't see how that, I, I don't see how that's going to happen, you know, because we already announce our flights with our local flight app that we use uh, and we don't get any issues. Um, I see obviously people in the US getting upset about their own privacy and they think that they're going to be attacked. 
Um, personally, I think that this is a social issue rather than an FAA issue. Um, if you feel unsafe in your country or your street or your town or whatever it is, that is a social issue. That's got nothing to do with the FAA. Um, I've been broadcasting or I've been announcing my flights and so have all the flyby guys, all, our, all, all, all of our pilots all over Europe when we've been flying. And we've never had any problems. We don't get issues because we don't have those social issues here. So I think personally, that I think that any issues that you have are social issues. Um, and, and, and the local flight authorities, there's nothing they can do about that. However, what about if, if we feel, if, or if you feel that you are, that you are unsafe, why doesn't the FAA or, or even EASA put in a fine for people who do interfere or harass drone pilots or, or, or even either come to harm? Why not a fine get put into place? That, but that, then again, that's drawing more attention to it. You know, nobody cares when we fly. I don't know if that's the same where you are, but certainly where I am, or, or, and I fly all over the world. I fly everywhere. Nobody bothers us. We don't get any issues, okay? Um, but, of course... If everyone's different, you know. Um, when it comes to, I've heard about this pay to fly, this is absolute nonsense. And anyone who thinks that there's pay to fly coming in because of remote ID is literally high, okay? I'm going to say this off, I mean, they're high, okay? Not going to happen. Network remote ID will be some kind of a subscription, I'm sure, because you'll have companies that are going to be paying to do the work that they do. So they'll be paying the flight authorities to get permission to fly. There might be a subscription fee within Uspace to do that, but that doesn't affect any of the hobbyists. That doesn't affect the hobbyists because you won't be using network remote ID. You'll be using broadcast or direct remote ID. So that 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 will not happen. So, and anyone who thinks that there's going to be an end to the hobby, why is DJI still releasing new drones? Why is there lots of legislation coming out for all of the drones that are currently coming out for the C type of certification? If there was an end to the hobby, DJI wouldn't be actually releasing new drones. They wouldn't be putting too much effort into C labels, into new drones that are coming out. We would see that there would be maybe people losing their jobs at DJI. That's not happening. So there is no end to the hobby. So please stop listening to these people who are telling you a lot of nonsense, okay? Now, a remote ID coming into Europe is very quiet, okay? There's no, there's no news about it. There's no social media. There's no updates coming from the flight authorities because they're just slowly bringing it in. I found it in the documents. I was told by some people. I went to investigate. And yes, it is coming in. And I've been told by the authorities that it will be in on the 1st of January 2024. That's two and a half months away. But nobody knows about it. But then if you talk to people, they kind of go, okay, I'll put in, but there's nothing to be concerned about. <sighs> Why are we concerned? I don't know. Anyway, I. what do you think? <laughs> what do you think? I mean, this is going to happen all over Europe. In the UK, you will not have remote ID because you're not following the European subscription for the C model, for example. So that's not going to happen for you. So those of you in the UK, you don't have to worry. But of course, if you are coming to Europe to fly, whether it be from the hobby perspective, you will have to broadcast a remote ID. And of course, you know that you have to have your, uh, you know, your A1 or your A3 for that to fly as well, or, or even your A2. So please put a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Are you scared? Are, are you, you know, are you fearing for your safety? Are you blaming people that you don't have to blame? Uh, I'm interested to know because um, I'm not concerned at all and uh, I know that anyone who has an iPhone, for example, will not be able to see any of the drone flights because this this phone doesn't pick up any of the remote ID signals out there and uh, yeah, and I don't have anything to be concerned about. Anyway. Thanks everyone. Please like and subscribe to the channel because I need everyone to know about remote ID coming into Europe and also the differences of what we have also in the US as well. Um, thanks everyone. Um, be cool, be safe and fly safe. <laughs>